it's another one. This uh, we're talking about today. Talking ammunition. about ammunition. Self defense ammunition. Or self defense ammo. That's how they say it. When they're talking about, you know, self defense stuff, you know. They don't say ammo. I mean, that's just, you know, for normal stuff. And ammunition is just for normal stuff. Munitions. When, when, you, when, you're talk, bullets, when you're talking about self defense. When you're talking about self defense, it's ammunition. Small arms. Small arms ammunition. Anyway, a uh, couple we, uh, couple months ago, actually, uh, we got a question from one of our subscribers about uh, the different types of self defense ammo out there. You know what we, what we, what uh, what what got the Glock brother stamp there, the the stamp of approval, the stamp act that we enacted back then, reenacted. In 1776, about 70, 70, 7065, 7065, yeah, 7065. So, uh, we picked uh, four top ones that uh, we've used, and uh, those four, the first is uh, Horn Hornaday's Critical Defense, Federal Hydra shock. It's got that little little plunger. We'll see a picture. We'll, we'll, we'll have pictures for each one. Uh, and uh, there it is now. There, or maybe not. Uh, the, depending the, upon the, the, the There's the picture now. No, uh, we'll, uh, we'll uh, have pictures for each one after this little segment here. Showing each one. Uh, the first will be the, the, the Hornaday Critical Defense. Second will be the Federal Hydroshock. Uh, the Spears Gold Dot is another one. Uh, yeah. And then the Winchester. The, 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 the Winchester PDX. Now, as far as for rounds for us, we chose the Spear Gold Dot. Because most law enforcement officers carry it. And it also happens to work extremely well in the Glock. We both carry Glock pistols. And, with, uh, with the Glock runs. Yeah. Come on. It, we're not, we're not going to carry different pistols, you know. Or the Glock brothers. We uh we only know of Glocks. We only talk of Glocks, and uh, we and, uh, and we and only say Glock. And we're fan Glock boys. Glockity Glock 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 Glockity Glock Glock Glock. Yeah. Glock 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 Glock. glock. Well, oh, obviously, we're not fan boys, uh, but we, we are fans of Glocks. We would like you to go out there and. Uh, you know, fire off some of these rounds in your gun, whether you have a Beretta, or you have a SIG, Sour, or you have a HK, or you have a Smith & Wesson, you know, what, whatever it is that you carry, you know, fire uh, Make sure some of these rounds. Uh, your self-defense ammo works for you. You know, you're going to want a high-quality ammo. That, that actually leads us into our next segment of you gotta, you gotta want a high quality ammo. This is this this is no. how we, we kinda chose our ammo. Okay? Big Lou, start us off with the four Ps of choosing self defense. This, this ammo. comes from zombie tactics. That our man zombie tactics. Throw We're a not gonna throw a shout out and flash mob him now, now, so uh, zombie tactics or P's. There's actually a fifth P, and in case you might know the gutter, it's not P as in urine. Oh. So we'll let you figure that one out. We'll find out. Placement, placement, and, and placement is what is king. 
Place on the map is where you hit. Okay. You want a round that's gonna hit in the same consistency every time. So uh, obviously grain plays a factor in that as far as the recoil that your gun will produce if you're firing two well placed shots or you're doing a tap uh, rack bang you know doing a little a control two, pair a control pair two in the chest one in the head uh, that leads us to the next uh, letter of P placement hold is, up placement is queen we already did place. Oh, sorry. Pre uh, excuse. Um, penetration. I, 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 penetration. Yeah. Sorry. It's queen. Sorry. I I wrote there on my notes twice placement, but I meant to, I meant to say uh, penetration. People say you know you gotta you gotta want to use this ammunition, but you know it needs to have a certain amount of penetration to stop the threat. Absolutely. So the that's where grain comes into play again. Um, as far as the hollow point, how it flies through the air, and uh, how it works with uh, your caliber of bullet, whether you carry forty-five, uh, forty caliber, that's, that's or why nine millimeters. These, uh, these ballistic gel testing. If it, if it only goes in, get your ballistic an inch. gel. Get it out there. Shoot it. If it only goes in an inch, folks, get yeah, it's shit. It's crap. It's crap. You, you, you know, you're gonna want. That's why we say you you're gonna, gonna want a high quality ammo. You're gonna get Ed Bassmaster in there. Go. Well, you look at that. Would you look at it? It just didn't even go in that far. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Didn't go in that far. And uh, the third one, the glue pressure. Got no nope. processor. See, see, I even wrote that down wrong for you. Sorry about that. Processing. You got to get the processing. It's the brain, spinal column. How does you got to shut up the process? How how does that bullet manage to go through skull? You know, it could go through right here in the T box, and to go through the brain and spinal cord. How's that bullet affect? And so we're not saying you should aim for the head. You want to aim for center mass every time, but it's 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 a whole big discussion and a whole big to do. But it's processor. That's that's your third. Piece. That's why we say two in the chest first and one the, in the head to finish them off. You, you, you shoot to stop. Once they go down, then you then you you, know, you go over there and you shoot them in the head. <laughs> oh, I mean no, no, no. No, He's don't do, don't do that. That is wrong. Once they're down, you're, you're good. Yeah, you secure the area. You render aid. Yep. And call the call the police. Processing leads us to pressure. Whew. Blood pressure. Um, Big News actually got a funny story about pressure and blood pressure and stuff like that. Some people say, you know, hey, I need a 46. I need a 46 caliber because it's big. Or the 47 caliber. But the, the 47 is actually pretty good. But honestly, so I, don't, I, I don't get into that because I have the, I have the 49. The guy took 357 to the chest and he didn't go down. Wow. How many, so how, that he, means that how means many, how many times did he get shot with that three fifty seven? That means three fifty seven is no good, folks. Come on, this is ridiculous. That's why it it's goes placement, back, it's pl placement, penetration, computer, pressure. Eventually, he did pass out from the loss of blood. Same thing with the uh, twenty two. He, he took huh? five shots to the chest of three fifty seven. Obviously, He's terminated. Obviously, uh, they uh, didn't do a very good job on their placement. <laughs> but uh, pressure is uh, important. How does how does that round affect as far as blood pressure when it's simultaneously close together? That's why we say that two 
uh, center mass. Yeah. Close as you possibly can. Send, send that body into shock or that blood is just pumping, pumping out. And here's another thing. This and is down this, he goes. This is more of a thinking air, uh, but the media says that these oh. these hollow points are cop killer rounds. They, they developed them in these labs to kill cops, and you've got to get rid of them. Yeah, we got to get the terrible. The terrible. We've got to get rid of these cop killer rounds. There's no such thing as a cop killer round. Nobody sat around and said, hey, "Let's kill some law enforcement." Yeah. That's, no, they didn't do that. Here's the Cops funny, funny, the funny use thing: is hollow points because they don't pass through human flesh. They transfer energy to the target and are more likely to stop in the target. Not every time. Ballistics and bullets are funny things. Like bullets do weird things and they hit things. They're weird. You might say bullets have a mind of their own. You might. And that they pl- and will they, go in one and they, year and, and they go out the armpit they plan, there. They plan to take over the world we hear. I'm not saying. You That's know. why we gotta ban these guns. Because these bullets have minds of their own. Uh, te- technically, a twenty two caliber could be a cop killer around because of placement. Yeah. You know? Like, uh, it'll it'll go inside the... Uh, it'll, it'll break the skull. Head into the brain, but it won't have enough power to come out the other side. It'll bounce off the skull inside. Do a little pinball wizard in there, you know. And you'll you'll make some you'll make some goo of what was your uh, your best friend's brain. Yeah. Kind of so that's put why your hand in the pile of goo that was once your best friend's face. That's you'll, why. That's you'll why know they what have to do. The warnings on the twenty-two boxes, you know, they're, they're lethal rounds. That's I mean. What, Will a twenty-two kill you right away? You know, depending accidental, upon where it hits. But. Accidental shootings, twenty-two caliber is, is the one that kills the most people accidentally. So, that myth, the, the media, that's a thinking error of the media. Cop killer round. There's no round developed by a manufacturer that, yeah... This is a cop killing round because you imagine a company like Federal or Winchester or Spears or Hornaday coming out and going, "This one right here is designed to kill cops." Come on, it, it, especially if if the cop is carrying it, that means he's got a criminal killing round. Why don't they, Why don't they report that in the media? And, it's, it's and, 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 and Officer Brown used a, a criminal killing round to uh, stop the criminals. And, uh, so save, he, uh, he, and save the children from the burning uh, uh, church building. He was a real dirty Harry. He was he was going after. He these. was out there with his forty four mag. He was a, he was around. a loose cannon, and he had hollow. Points. You're off the force, there, McGargo. Take it, Sarge. I ain't got no other place to go. That's that man. That's, that's uh, officer and a gentleman. The badge of your gun. The badge of your gun. I got nothing else. I got nothing else. I need my forty fours and whatnot. so hollow points aren't cop killers. Ever carry you carry hollow points because it's a high quality self defense round that police officers use. You should use, and everyone can be happy. So uh, like us. Comment on the rounds that you use for your self-defense. Yeah, let's hear it. Let's, let's hear what you it. use for you and what's worked for you. Favorite this video. Share it with your friends, as always. Keep it fun. Keep it safe. Make sure you're charged and what's beyond it as well. And, uh, Brothers, signing out.